Can one ever truly escape the pull of their roots, the indelible mark that history leaves upon the soul? Diana, a meticulous curator of her own Museum of Antique Maps in the heart of Dallas, Texas, pondered this very question as she traced the contour lines of an ancient parchment, recently bequeathed to her by an enigmatic Scottish uncle she scarcely remembered. The map, embellished with mythical sea creatures and inscrutable symbols, spanned the rugged landscapes of Scotland and centered on a spot marked with an ornate cross, Aileen Donnan, a castle seemingly rooted in the very essence of Diana's half-forgotten heritage. A world away, Peter, a rally historian and folklore enthusiast, harbored a comparable passion for unraveling the mysteries of the past. His sanctuary was a room lined with weathered books depicting tales of Scotland's valor and woe. A stranger's letter arrived one crisp morning, its contents revealing his great-aunt's last wish for him to uncover an ancestral secret whispered through the generations, a secret entwined with a castle amidst the locks and highlands. In their separate lives, both Diana and Peter had trekked through past and present, yet a shared inheritance was calling them to a journey neither had anticipated. As they prepared to cross oceans and unravel the yarns of their lineages, the call of Aileen Donnan and the quest for an heirloom that promised harmony and healing set them on converging paths toward the echoing hills of Scotland. Diana's love for maps was more than scholarly fascination. It was woven into her very being, planted by her grandfather, a gentle cartographer who taught her to see not just places, but stories and dreams in the curling lines of geography. Dallas, with its modern skyline clashing against the dusty rodeos and aged Stetsons, was where her grandfather's stories, and now, the map, beckoned her toward a past she had only skimmed like stones on water. Peter's life in Raleigh was steeped in lore, the red clay soil of North Carolina whispering legends that urged him forward. His great-aunt, a formidable historian, had left him cryptic notes and a key, a key she claimed would unlock the path to their family's story past, tied to the rugged cliffs and thin mists of Scotland, where echoes of ancient clans still rang clear. With the weight of generations nudging them, Diana and Peter's paths intersected in Edinburgh's cobblestone embrace. It was amidst the city's grey stones and ghostly tales that they first encountered each other, finding solace in mutual purpose and recognition in each other's eyes, for each carried a piece of the same puzzle. They soon found themselves aboard a vessel cutting through the Hebridean waves, the isles rising like green-clad sentinels from the sea. There, they tread upon lands untouched by time, feeling the weight of their quest deepening with each shared legend of old and every roadside stone that bore the marks of history. Their journey led them through corridors of power and echoes of battles long past. At the Highland Folk Museum, they unraveled the woven tales of daily life that shaped their ancestors. In the shadow of Ben Lomond, they climbed, finding strength in their limbs and clarity in their minds as the land whispered secrets of endurance and the resilience of kin. In a lighter moment, Peter's laughter rang clear as a bell when Diana, having never wielded a golf club before, swung with unbridled enthusiasm at St. Andrews. The dimpled white ball soared, a metaphorical journey of its own mirroring their search for connection and understanding. Together, they savoured the sweet crumble of Scottish tablet and the surprisingly pleasant, peppery warmth of haggis. Each taste was a morsel of culture, a bite of the collective memory that they were inching closer to understanding. One crisp evening, they found themselves side by side, gazing at the ballet of the Aurora Borealis. The celestial dance was a testament to the world's beauty and mystery. Wrapped in the glow, they felt the insignificance of their solitary existences and the importance of the journey they shared. At the boisterous Highland Games, they marveled at the raw power and communal spirit showcased in traditional competitions. The tug of war felt symbolic of their own internal struggles, the weight of history pulling at them as they inched toward the goal. Edinburgh Castle proved to be a vault of their forebears' valor, its cold walls and dimly lit halls inspiring a reverence for the unyielding march of time. The Royal Mile was a procession through a bygone era's soul, where echoes of bagpipes traced the footsteps of forgotten kin. A plunge into the chilling embrace of a secluded lock cleansed them of modern trappings, bonding them to the land and its stories. The West Highland Way was a trodden path not just through heather and glen, but through the timeline of their own saga. As the Jacobite steam train exhaled into the highlands, 
a shroud of mist enveloped them in dreams of yore. Its whistle was the call of their history, a resounding note that beckoned them to Glencoe's haunting beauty and the tragedies etched into its name. Amid the silenced moor of Culloden battlefield, they touched the cold stones that marked the fallen warriors. Peter's fingers lingered on the clan names, feeling a deep-rooted connection to the courage and sacrifice that pumped in his blood. On board the Royal Yacht Britannia in Edinburgh, the opulence amidst restrained elegance spoke of the ruling tapestry from which their familial cloth was cut. There lay hidden correspondences that, once discovered, edged them closer to their quest's crux. The North Coast 500 unfurled before them like the very map Diana cherished, a winding journey through stark beauty and serene desolation. The route was an artery through the heart of Scotland, and with each mile, they delved deeper into the story waiting to be told. As they arrived at the coastal haven of Aileen Donham Castle, the pieces of the puzzle, at last, converged. The enigmatic cross on Diana's map, and the key, warmed by Peter's touch, revealed hidden chambers and long-lost diaries that wound their histories together like the intertwining thistle and rose. The heirloom, a delicate, silver brooch, sat nestled within the walls, pulsating with a history of reconciliation and kinship. With the brooch's retrieval, they confronted the emotional pinnacle of their journey, their shared lineage, marked by tragedy and triumph, was laid bare. Diana's mirrored reflection in the waters of the loch revealed a woman transformed, her eyes afire with the strength of her forebears. Peter, standing on the ramparts that once echoed with his ancestors' calls, found resolve in the boundless skies above. The falling action was no mere descent but a thoughtful walk through the highlands of their soul. The revelations at Aileen Donan required sacrifices, the relinquishment of old identities and the embrace of the interconnectedness that the shared heritage demanded. Back in the embrace of Edinburgh, the heirloom's true nature was realized. Its mystical qualities hummed a melody of healing, not just for the body but for the soul's rifts that time had worn. The brooch did not end their journey. It only marked a new beginning, a genesis of understanding, and a bridge to the untold tales of their clan. As Diana and Peter prepared to part, the Scotland skies, once foreboding, now held the promise of return. They shared more than blood and history. They carried the essence of Aileen Donan, the spirit of the locks and glens, and the resilience of the Highland heart within them. As they bid farewell to the land that wove them into its narrative, it was not with sadness but with the knowledge that the journey never truly ends. For in their quest, they had unearthed an enduring truth. We are not merely keepers of our history, but active creators of our legacies. In the spirit of quests such as Diana and Peter's, we extend a hearty invitation to you, dear reader, to weave your own tapestry of discovery. Like and subscribe to Senior Travel World and become a part of a community that cherishes the journey as much as the destination. Embark on adventures that transcend the mere act of travel, embracing the stories that shape who we are and who we can become. Through SeniorTravelWorld.com, access the full written story, detailed guides to the lands traversed by our protagonists, and insights to fuel your own quest for exploration. So, we ask you, what mysteries call to you from the maps of your past? Join us, and let us chase the whispers of history and the promise of self-discovery together. Your next chapter awaits.